Hi everyone. Welcome to a cup of Java's test kitchen. Today we're cooking fish head curry. Now normally fish head curry stews over a long period of time. But today we're going to show you a quick and easy method of getting that deep rich flavor with simple authentic ingredients. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Okay, first off is your chili padi. Green or red is fine. You need about 10. Adjust the heat as required. Next, your garlic cloves. You can use between 15 and 20. Ginger. You can use about 6 cm or 2 thumbs. Next is your asam or tamarind. You'll need to soak that in water to get out the seeds and just give it a bit of a mix. What is that look for? Three fresh tomatoes, two medium red onions. Now you can use about 10 green chili. Red is good as well, but green kind of gives it a bit more of a sweet, tangy kind of taste. And then your santan, your coconut cream. About 250 mils to 500 is good, but you can add more if you want it creamier. And then you have coriander leaf and curry leaf. About two to three stalks of each. Over here we have about 10 to 20 dried chilies that have been rehydrated. So you put it in some water in the microwave about one to two minutes and then you can blend it to get that texture. And now your fish head. You can use any fish really. Uh, just as long as it's big enough, has a little bit of flesh on it, you're good to go. This is an ingredient called asafoetida. It's used in Indian cooking generally to kind of counteract the spiciness and the heatiness of the other ingredients. Okay now we're going to blend our onions, our tomato, the chili as well. Add some water to the mixture to help it blend. Uh, upwards of uh, one cup. Now we put two tablespoons of oil and we fry the blended mixture. Now we add a couple of tablespoons of water to about 50 grams of curry powder. When it becomes a paste like this, then you're ready to add it in. Fry the mixture until aromatic. Add in 500 ml of water and let the mixture simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can add in your chili mix. Now you can add in your curry leaves and coriander leaves. After 10 minutes, add in the tamarind mixture and don't forget to season along the way. Once combined, add in the santan, the coconut cream. Make sure to stir well. Last but not least, add in the fish head and allow to cook for 10 to 15 minutes. And you're ready to serve. Don't forget to garnish and you're done. Fish head curry, cup of Java style. Tune in for our next recipe. See you.